Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Uh, have we heard of a band by the name of Nightwish. I've heard of Nightwish. I have. I think they have the singer Floor. Is that true? That's Floor. Right. Floor. Yeah. Uh, I believe I've heard she's pregnant. Is that true? I. Uh, she might have had her baby now. Oh. But she was pregnant, and she was touring with the with the uh, being pregnant. So now, uh, uh, um, hear me. Uh, tell, correct me if I'm wrong, but is she Dutch? Have you heard them perform, or do you know? No, nothing. No, 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 no. Nothing. Yeah. Let's jump into that one and uh, you can let me know what you think of Nightwish and then I'll let you go. This is my next episode from a series, Road Dogs and Rock Gods. (laughs) This is Mike Davenport. He's in the band The Ataris. He's their bass player. He also has a band called Versus the World. He's a good friend of mine. We talk to each other a lot, (laughs) almost every day. (laughs) But uh, I wanted to bring him on. I wanted to show him some new tracks and also go through a couple tracks that I hadn't played in the first time around when he came on. He has been on before. He did some reactions with me and he also uh, did an interview a while back. I urge you guys to check all those out if you think Mike's a good dude, like I do. I also want to throw a shout out, a true thank you to the people at Sabra. They sent me tons of hummus. I'm like the hummus king over here. I got a whole bunch. I got guacamole. Got all this wonderful stuff. This is how much they sent me. Look at this picture. I gave some to my mom. She's very happy. So I got the whole family eating wonderful stuff from Sabra. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You guys can check out their products at your local grocery store and also at Sabra.com. Anyhow, let's jump into this and let's see what Mike Davenport here has to say. Let's give it a go. Okay, so this is Nightwish. You are familiar with Nightwish. You knew that Floor was Dutch, <laughs> and uh, you knew she was pregnant. I mean, you knew all this stuff, man. So uh... I, I do. I read a lot about music and and things like that, even if I don't hear the band, right? Which is which is uh, really strange. People think they think that's really strange. So I don't know why I do that, but I'm really interested in in the um, the uh, the other side, the human side of of being in a rock band right totally. so so uh you've never seen them perform live though or perform as as far as you know you don't know any of their tracks as far, as far as i know maybe, maybe i saw i think a, she was a solo artist before is that correct she does tour herself i mean she has backing band when she tours and then she was on a show where she would sing sometimes solo and stuff and uh, yeah, i actually maybe, saw a video of hers i don't think i did a video of it but they made her sing the phone book <laughs> oh wow I, yeah I, I, yeah yeah i haven't watched it i should i should do that sometime but i saw it come across so i think uh, her sing solo but it was probably before nightwish if that makes sense it could be yeah she did have a band so uh anyway okay so i chose a track called romanticide it's at vakin did you guys ever do anything at vakin have you been to vakin no where's vakin at germany it's huge i don't know Oh, you know, uh, oh, Bakken's a festival? No, no, no. I haven't done that, no. All right, so let's jump into this. This is at Vakken. It is a track romanticized. I think you'll dig it. You can let me know. It is with Floor. Floor is not their original singer, just so you know. Yeah, I... I, I, I Okay, cool.
It's great. It's really great. I the she <laughs> is an amazing singer, right? Uh, first thing I think off the top of my head is I love the duet, right? I love her singing and then going going to the guitar player and then him singing. I think that's really super cool stuff. It's not right off the bat. It's not like the coolest metal band I've ever heard, but I can see why the Germans like it because it sounds like the female Ramstein. So really. If, if, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me, man. I don't hear that at all. I, I do, No, what's funny is I hear sometimes Evanescence, which is what you said about what? that Idaho girl, I, and I, I don't, don't hear Evanescence either. I, I, the, the double kick drum, the 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 keyboards that go behind it, that's, that's very Ramstein, right? It's like, but however, it, it's Ramstein except with a really great female vocalist, right? She She's hmm. really... She's great. I love that Cliff Burton headbang. Cliff Burton made that headbang famous, the one with the hair going in a circle, you know. Oh, I think yeah. that's I think that's classic. I really I really like the track, but it's I don't think it's like it doesn't have a catchy chorus, right? I mean, a little teeny for a second and then and then it kind of goes away. But the crowd, they they seem to know all the lyrics, right? And to be oh, yeah. singing all the way so maybe it's something like i said before that i would have to listen to more uh before i really got hooked on it it's the same with ramstein i i didn't get it at first you know and we had toured europe in the in the 90s and the two th early 2000s and and they were gigantic and it took me a little while and then i, I started to get that too so so i, love uh, ramstein. I but, totally dig them i don't do a lot of videos on here because if I say I don't like something, their fan base is mean, man. They, but I don't like to lie. If I don't like it, I want to be honest. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's how I am with her. It's uh, I dig her. She's she's cool. She's she's like uh, hardcore and sexy and all these cool things. And at the same time, she's an amazing singer, right? An amazing singer, but. You know, I'm a I'm a pop guy, right? I play in a pop punk band. So yeah. so sensibilities are more like the Beatles and Green Day and, and Nirvana and 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 verse course verse, right? And mm. so when 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 you write songs like that and play in a band like that, that the the abrupt changes and stuff the only people i mean metallica did that better than anybody right you go from one thing to another thing and they still somehow made it more poppy and catchy because their choruses were very sing alongy and yeah. um, and so and so you know i like it but i wouldn't say i'd go out and buy it tomorrow right so i could listen to this stuff all day <laughs> yeah that's i love that's cool. it man <laughs> I, if, I, if i go back to it i prefer baby metal and and um you know i even the the ado ado song I, I like that better than i like this so okay cool do we have time for any more are we done uh <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um uh l let's call it for today before my okay, wife cool well pain. i appreciate your time i'm glad that you know who nightwish is now <laughs> okay good and good. uh and um, so of the tracks we played today, if you had to listen to a doe, it was Nightwish. And it was, uh, what else did we play you? To a doe. What, what would you listen to next? Who would be the artist to play next? Oh, I definitely play. I'd like to hear more a doe, right? That's really cool. I, I really dig it. So, okay, um, cool. you know, um, I really, I really would listen to more of that. I think, what would we do? We did Nightwish and two of does. So. And we did uh, Monskin. Oh, Monskin, yeah. yeah. I mean, I love Monskin, right? Monskin's great, um, and I love them from the beginning. So, um, yeah. uh, but I, I would definitely listen to more of them because I want to hear more songs like Beggin. I, I love Beggin. That's a great Beggin's song. Great. Yeah, Beggin's right. Great, great song. Yeah. It reminds me of like the Stones meet the Black Crows or something. But, but that the song that that you played me was a little, um, you know, a little uh, uh, weird, right? It's those changes are abrupt and weird, and I gotta hear it more. I, it's so interesting that I want to. Actually, you're right. You're right. I want to go hear that again to see a, a, about that and to see if it's like if if my mind is fooling me or whatever. So it's cool. really cool. Yeah, 
All right, cool. Well, I'll talk to you in a bit here, and I appreciate your time as always. Thank you, man. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.